Westbrook at Inbound 2024 with GeekWire Studios and Zuper. We're joined by two folks from Maven. Oliot, uh, this is JT Oliot. You're the CEO and owner of Maven. And we have Kent Penevec, the Chief Operating Officer, also with Maven. Now, first of all, I want to go to JT. Tell us about Maven, what problems you're solving. Well, our mission is to make Mavens impact the communities. And so one of the biggest problems we're trying to solve is how do we have transitioning veterans come out of the service and immediately start putting food on the table for their families so they have options. And so, you know, the, the military service is a huge recruiting agency for us. And uh, we want to solve a problem where these guys have an opportunity beyond service. And so in order to do that, we're having to indoc people from a very militaristic mindset um, systems, operations, technology to a very civilian side that they've never experienced before. And so it comes with new challenges that we've never, you know, we've ha we haven't seen before in this industry. And so what we're trying to do is essentially have these guys transition into the roofing and service spaces, home service spaces, and immediately earn revenue by using the tools and systems we've developed through our partners like Zuper and HubSpot. And when we talk about home restoration, we're talking about storm damage repair, we're talking about solar installations, roofing, that kind of thing. And I would say that you have a little bit of an advantage having seen overhead as an F-18 pilot, is that correct? <laughs> that is right, yes. Um, yeah, so as a uh, prior F-18 pilot, I've had a lot of time with uh, process adherence, yeah. checklist usage, um, dispatching and scheduling, and things that we use in the F-18 community in order to really command and control field or air operations. And if you can't do that well, you have no chance to win on the battlefield. And so that same mindset we're bringing to home services. What is it like to use Zuper from the sales standpoint? Yeah, so I think just adding on to what JT said, one of the challenges as anybody coming into the home services industry is we have to teach a prescriptive process and we have to get the sales rep up and moving and create a repeatable process for them and the customer. And so uh, one of the things is we can take these guys coming right out of the gates of the military, put them in a truck within about two weeks of training, leveraging our technology, and they have a prescriptive process in which they follow and can be successful right away. And how does partnering with Zuper help make that transition, not only for the employees, the, the team members that come from the military, how does it make it easy for you to run the business? If you don't have a system and process, it's, it's free for all for anybody to do whatever they think that process is. And it's not scalable. Um, and you're likely with a lot of late nights burning the midnight oil from company to company if you're running a company because you're like, man, I can't seem to, to put the pieces together. Well, it's like everyone's doing their own thing. And so if you want predictable uh, processes and, and success, like we, we say we want everybody to make $100,000 a year. That's our goal, minimum. And so how do we do that? Well, we have to have the same targets we're shooting on every day, day in and day out. And we talk about, and I'll end it like this, is like, look, if you had a Hot Wheels track, okay, and you were to put the car on the Hot Wheel track and every time it's gonna end up at the same result at the end, that's what we're trying to create. And the only way we can do that with partners like Zuper, where we can have very prescriptive checklist usage and dynamic questions and dispatching and scheduling where it's putting you time on target, the right target, the right time, and the right person. Real quick, Ken, how important is it to have a software solution to manage FSM, CSM, to create what he describes as a Hot Wheels track? Yeah, so I, I mean, I think it all starts with the customer expectation, and that continues to rise every single year. Uh, inside of maybe we call that the Amazon effect. You know, I, I hit a button, I want it now. Uh, construction is, is a little bit challenging, and it's a little bit more challenging when you're talking about the roof. Uh, it's not as sexy as things like your kitchen or your bathroom, and you get to see the results as a customer. We have to show you those results on the roof because you're likely never going to climb up there. And so it all starts with the customer experience and what they're expecting. They're expected to be communicated with uh, the way that they want to be communicated with on the mechanism they want to be communicated with. And they want to be in the know. It's, it's their most uh, valuable asset most of the time. They're giving us an opportunity to work on. And the fact that we, before this, couldn't tell them, hey, when, this is when the tech's going to arrive. This is who's coming and oftentimes would show up and like, hey, maybe I don't have the right tools for that job. It's, it's kind of a terrible customer experience. And it also puts more strain on our internal resources. They have to work more hours to fulfill for the customer. And so it's a complete system kind of end to end where Zuper's really freed us up to expedite that, become efficient, but ultimately really meet the customer's expectations. That's fantastic. In the few seconds we have left, describe what you would give advice to somebody thinking about using Zuper. Where do you start? 
Well, number one, we've been through every CRM possible known to man over the last five years of our inception. We've been to industry specific CRMs that are just for roofing. We've been to industry wide of multiple industries. And what we found through all of that, through multiple failed attempts is, what we have to do is find the best tool for the right person at the right time. And not every tool is built for that person. And so like as certain CRMs are made for maybe someone who's in the office, certain CRMs are maybe focused to the outside. And what we found, if you're gonna go acquire or partner with an, a, a company that does technology, you find the tool that that person needs exactly what they need, nothing more and nothing less. And so what we found with the HubSpot partnership in Zuper is HubSpot does an amazing job inside, but what about outside? And what tool do they need? Because it's HubSpot's really not focused on that as much as Zuper is. And so we're putting the best tool for what they do in their hands. That's amazing. Thank you, Kent. Thank you, JT. Yeah. And I would say uh, keep climbing, whether it be in an F-18 <laughs> or, or here on the ground on the ladders, solving those roofing problems. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Brian Westbrook, Equire Studios. Mm -hmm.